So you don't actually need much uh, parts to assemble the button and probe mount for the root controller. All you need is three switches. These are the ones with the LED in them. I believe these are blue, but I'll find out soon enough. Um, they're normally open um, with four contacts on the bottom. You can get these in a variety of different configurations, such as LED colors, normally closed, normally open, um, more poles, but this is just a single throw, single pole switch. So on the bottom here, we would have um, two terminals for the switch itself, and then two for the LED that's inside. This particular switch doesn't have a inbuilt uh, current limiting resistor, so it's perfectly suited for the uh, little PCB that you can buy on the store. These have the current limiting resistors already put in for a sensible um, current through the diode. Now you can get them, you can buy switches with them already installed, uh, but they're typically more money and a bit harder to find. Uh, the availability isn't as wide as ones without the inbuilt resistors. So three of them, we need some 4mm banana plug terminals. This will be used to plug in your probe. Um, I don't have mine plugged in all the time. Um, we obviously need the PCB that you can get from the store. We need uh, two, um, I don't know what you call these, little um, little fellas that you can uh, heat into the plastic parts to put a thread in. Um, I'll show you how they work in a little while. Uh, and then the plastic case as well. Uh, you can get a number of different configurations on this. But I've got macro start hold, but uh, you can change that um, to suit your application. There is a couple of uh, templates already on GitHub, so you can download. Um, there's like cycle, um, hold, stop, and obviously the probe point. And then yeah, we'll go through and assemble this. So on the bottom of here we should have uh, the two contacts for the switches, the positive and the negative there for the diode. So for my wiring I'm going to use the uh, red and black to denote the LED, so I'm going to use them, I'm going to use them, one's for uh, the positive, one's for the negative and then two of the same colours to indicate the switch. As the switch doesn't have polarity it doesn't matter, so we'll put them on the other two. I've just gone to get my multimeter to double check that I've got the uh, LED wired up the right way, right way round. Uh, so I've got my multimeter, you can't see that, my multimeter set into diode mode. And then if I do the, the same colors, you know it right. should be able to see. Oh, there you go. It's lighting up blue, so that one's fine. Another blue, that's fine. And then finally, the last one, that is apparently red. I didn't order red, but I got red, brilliant. And then if I go to um, switch that to continuity mode, so when these two touch, it'll beep. So that should be on the same colors now. Perfect. 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 Right, so now they can be installed. You might notice that I've deliberately gone it gone to one side. That's just to give it, when the wires are in there, the maximum amount of clearance within the box. So you'll see how that will go together in a second. All right. So 
are the uh, three buttons installed. They don't have to be particularly tight, they're not going to move and they're not going to go anywhere. And then you'll notice we've got a load of cable coming out from the side. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is tin, tin the wires again, tin the board and get it wired up. On the PCB, you've got uh, the signals, so you've got hold, probe, start and macro. All you have to do is just marry them up to the, well, the embossing on the uh, part. Obviously these are software configurable, so if, if you don't match it up one to one, it's, it's not a problem. So the positive goes to the anode or LED A, and the black goes to LED C for cathode, and then the two blue wires it doesn't matter, one will be ground and one will be signal. So there you go, now you see me wiring uh, yeah, the root controller into the back of here and we've got our software defined macro start and hold switches. Yeah, my OCD slightly triggered that I've got one red LED but yeah, not that bothered. I mean, I could go back and question it but at least it will help me identify which one I need to press out of the three, uh, left or right one. And then here is the uh, touch off probe that I'm going to be using to automatically set my uh, tool height offset from my workpiece. So they just plug in with the banana plugs and just runs along the cable to the touchpad and the banana clip, uh, clip that connects to the bit. So if you want to know more about how I wired in the cabinet and the root controller, please check out the link in the video description to find out a bit more and I hope you like it. The files for these cases are uh, free to download on the GitHub page and the bill of materials is also on the GitHub page. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, bye.